for the sake of consistency, I'm going to keep doing uh, from the same spot. There's those power lines. You can see the water tank there. Uh, power lines, and then that's the edge where we came in. This flat spot on top of the ridge is probably a pretty good house site. There's a flat spot down that way, right where you come in. It's a pretty good house site. Uh, and this water tank is being filled. Pardon the trash; it'll be gone, I guess. From the creek that we came in on, as we were driving up, up at the top, up there, uh, there's a limestone spring, and this pipe went all the way up there. Just run a black plastic pipe across this land up here. Just got logged about five years ago. Um, absentee landowner. I met the lady once. Uh, I don't know. Nobody's doing anything with it. It'd be a nice piece to buy. It's basically what connects uh, here Ulanawi with Moonshadow, which is over there around the bend of Lane Cove. Uh, yeah, so the water came down here. Uh, and then we're going to walk down this way. Down the ridge. Pick up these tools. So one of the reasons doing these videos is a uh, real estate man says the only way to sell this land is by mowing it all. I and mean, then some of it should definitely mow. Blackberry and honeysuckle. But that would also mean mowing all the fruit trees that are planted. And I mean, doing these videos, I got to show off the features of this land that make it so completely amazing to the people who can appreciate them. I think that's one of my pears that I planted. They certainly did well. A lot of this needs to be thinned out like crazy, especially as we go down further. <coughs> but um, there are a lot of fruit trees in here. Uh, apple, pear, I can't remember what all. My, my record keeping was terrible. All right, um, a lot of it should be mowed. I mean, there'd be a lot of, if you're into the chop and drop and hugel culture sort of stuff, there's a lot of wood to harvest. Tell you what, you need to thin the crap out of it. Select some good trees. This is a nice grove of sumac. It has lovely berries. Looks like it didn't fruit that crazy this year. I tell you, bees love sumac. I see them crawling all over it. Uh, going down, coming up on where we had our yom forever. We've been out here consolidating the trash because it got left in a in a rush when everybody was too depressed to handle it. Uh, yeah, that was my yom platform. I got these trails marked out. I don't know if you can see the orange spray paint. There's a trail that way. There's a trail down behind this one that goes to a nice glade on the north side of this ridge with some really big trees, big beaches, uh, lots of rock. Somebody was collecting a lot of rock and there's a big old uh, pool. Somebody made a rock pool like pretty much right on the edge of the property line over here down on the other side of this, on the north side. Somebody put a lot of work into that one someday, a long time ago. And then coming along here on the right side, a little bit on the left too, but mostly on the right, <coughs> crap ton of uh, native persimmons that I was cutting the, uh, the the sweet gum out of for years, but it, you can't tell now. <laughs> it doesn't look any, doesn't look like I was cutting sweet gum out of it. But see this, these flagged ones here. That's a, that's persimmon, that's persimmon. More persimmons deeper in there. More persimmons right here. And then coming into sight of the edge of the ridge in my ruin of a house. Let's see if you can see, you can see the water through there. That's a, that'll be the beaver pond. We're already, down there is already, see through the trees is the beaver pond, which is already below the trout pond. Uh, which, oh yeah, I, I got some video of the, that dam. I don't know how that turned out. See, so, yeah. move away. Eventually, your house burns down. Uh, yeah. So this is the end of the ridge, and down there, pretty much, you see that further. Uh, further tree line back there. Well, not there. That's still still on my land, but 
that back here and then the land follows that tree line back into that far corner back there where it touches the road where I stopped and said that point then it comes in to here and that's a that's probably 10 acres down there from what I just drew out of my finger in the air let's go down and I'll try to show you the, that corner a little better see this beaver pond a little better sort of maybe I don't know let's see come around this side of exit yes the property line comes in to is it there hmm let me get a little closer look no this is yeah, this is the this is the little black walnut grove. The property line is over. It's back there, right about there, probably 200 feet from where I'm where I'm standing. And this is uh, the fence. That fence is in our big pasture. That was about three acres, two and a half, three acres that we put in a pretty decent fence around to keep the goats. At one point, um, which I forgot the marking tape. Marking of uh, a spray paint, shit. Because there's more more trails that I need to mark down here. And that pin oak is not looking so good. That, that uh, bark is cracking. This pine survived everything, even the fire. It's full of pitch on this side. I like that pine. <laughs> 